this short video, I will show you how to blur parts of a video, for example the license plate of a car. The obvious problem here is to focus on the license plate, even if the car or the camera is moving. But the tools I'm using here are not limited to blurring. Look at this video. Unfortunately, the sky is a bit overexposed, but the landscape seems to be well lit. This can be fixed as well with the same method. Look at this. Want to know how this works? Then let's start DaVinci Resolve and open the first movie. The first step is to select the area which you want to blur. In our little exercise, I want to blur the license plate. So I move the movie to the very beginning and then from there I have to select the area. For that I take the window tool and take this one for freehand selection and now start at the edges, set the points over there to select license plate. Okay, it's done. And now what I want to do there, I want to do the blurring. Now I moved it a little bit, so I have to go back to the very beginning. Select Blur. And now, as you can see, it's getting now blurred. So this is the first step. We selected the area, but at the moment it's static. It will not move as the movie will start to play. Now back in the window selection, if you move forward, you see that the selected area is slowly moving away. How do we correct it? We use the track avoid. First, make sure that frame is selected. And now move the selected area back in place where it should be. And then back to the beginning and we do the same thing over here. So the nice thing with this approach is all the steps in between where we moved it from the middle and now we moved it back in place in the beginning, it will calculate automatically, zoom it if necessary to fit the position we have in the middle. We now go further down, it's already moving away again, <clears throat> we reposition it and now we are at the place where you may have to resize the window because it's not fitting anymore, it's also not a problem, you just resize it and the tracker will make sure that it's slowly adapting to the new size. So this process you basically have to repeat until the end to make sure that everything is covered and everything is in place until the end of the movie. So let's do a fast forward. Okay, we are ready. You may have seen in the fast forward video that I was uh, sometimes going back and forth and resizing the area I want to cover. So sometimes it's a bit effort to get the best result moving back and forth, but uh, now we're ready. Now back to the second use case I mentioned in the intro. To correct the overexposed sky, I already selected the area as before using the window tool. After selecting the sky, I now correct the exposure using the curve. Take it a little bit further down and another one here and now I'm satisfied. Okay, and that's it. I hope this video was helpful for you and if you like my content, please consider to subscribe to my channel. Thank you.